Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Seal of Codex. Now, I've I've had this game downloaded for a while since it like started as global, and I just didn't feel like playing it at the time. So you know, now we're gonna try it out and just see how it is. I mean, I have nothing else to like upload right now, so why not? No really interesting games that have piqued my interest yet. So yeah. This one peaked it a little bit. I'm also wondering why is there no audio? There would normally be sound in the menu. Especially when it's not downloading anything. There we go. Okay. So I'm not sure how this game's combat is or anything else about it. So this is going to be our own little first impression. I mean, this is how first impressions used to be done back then. You know, first experience. Always fun. I don't see many people doing that anymore, unfortunately. Oh, dear God, you look pretty sick. But you're a normal rank hero, unfortunately. Alright, so we're on the first chapter. Oh my, we gotta do main quest three times to get a whole bunch of those? Alright. So I'm wondering... Well, actually, I did see the summon. It, it was like um, 120, right? Was it that high for like 10 or was it like that high for... No, it was like 30, actually. Now that I think about it, I saw 30. I think that was just for like one summon though. Alright, we're gonna skip that for now. Oh, okay. This game is basically like um Sudorica. It's funny because I actually still played out a little bit. Not a whole bunch, but still played pretty decently often. Yeah, this game is pretty much basically like Sudorica. But Sudorica, you have to match up a certain amount to do like certain skills. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, the breaks, bases are actually pretty straightforward. Nothing. Really all that amazing. Unknown. Wait. What? Oh, jeez. Look at this guy. Oh, it's Lu Bu. God darn it. We were just talking about Lu Bu last video. Lu Bu always comes in and just wrecks our shit. <laughs> it happens in every Dynasty Warrior game. Yep. Seems like a typical Lubu thing. Jerk. I can't even avoid you in this game. Let alone Danny's Two Warriors. Always. Because you guys have played Dynasty Warriors, Lubu always was the strongest character that would randomly come on the map and just pretty much wreck face. That man didn't care. He would just jump straight on the train. Of course you're a UR. If it sounds like I'm salty, I am, because I just went through a whole bunch of flashbacks of Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> okay, so that's just pretty much like any time. Okay, I wanted to see that. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, wait, hold up. And dead. Oh, jeez. So this game is actually pretty straightforward. Nothing like too off the charts. If you guys have played um, Sudorica, then you can basically get down to Bake Six pretty easily. But I wonder what else is in here to offer. 
But yeah, like I said, pretty much a basic combat. Nothing like too off the charts. Self attack buff. I definitely like the look of this guy. He looks pretty sick. This guy, on the other hand, I don't think I like him for his skills. I think I like his four attack better. Yeah, his four is actually pretty good. Seems like we're going through this like pretty fast. Alright, there we go. So if we were to do this, we would go and get these. What the hell is this? Rainbow ticket. Unlocks a rainbow chest? Hold on. Can we summon now? Wait, did it really just let go of our hand? Oh wow, you don't see many games doing that like really quickly. What the hell? <laughs> How many games just been like, oh, well, all you need to know was the basics of how to fight. <laughs> you can do whatever else you want. <laughs> Alright, so where's the summons? Wait, hold up. Rewards. Gimme. Mine. Anything else? Yeah, no, I'm good. Seal. There we go. Let's open up the free one. What what kind of summoning? <laughs> oh, we got a three. So that's an event seal. This is a royal seal. S and up. Well, S R and up. This on the other hand is an event. So this is what we have the chance of getting out of it. Like I want to summon on that, but I also just wanna. Hmm. So ten summons here, we get an event character. So either way it goes, we can't really go wrong. But this one gives. Huh. Actually, I'm not thinking about it. This is probably better. Alright, how many times is that, though? How do they kept track? From what I know, that is. I have no idea. I'm gonna save those. Because they're not really giving me much to go off on and on that one. They have the growth plan over here. You have to be like a certain VIP. Uh, um, I don't know what the hell that VIP level is. Okay, you have to be VIP 3. Yeah, starter packs, stuff like that. Nothing that really interests me. But we can also get our keys from here by going to... A few more of these. Okay. I'm gonna bring in you. Actually, I'm gonna bring you in still. <laughs> Who needs a tank? I, I, I definitely don't need a tank or anything like that. Wait, is that, um, Goku? Son Goku? Oh, rip.
Not Guan Yu. Oh, so this. Oh. I was just like, wait, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> that actually confused the hell out of me for a second. I was just like, would you just want me to click in the middle or click every matching one? So we just defeated Guan Yu. I wonder what these, um, hold on. What are these red seals for? No, I don't really care. I just want to... Jeez. So this is just like special exchange. Let's go ahead and keep going so we can get our keys. So we can do our last few summons. So it seems like the key counted towards our summon too. Oh jeez. Alright, so she has a long range attack too. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so here's where you can see their like, actual HP. And how many, like, points to the stuff they've gathered. So you can only go in with three people, unfortunately. Normally they would have like way more slots in other games just so you can use like way more of your favorite units. But this one, you only use three. Which is fine, to be honest. I mean, if more better than gacha games that give you like one slot and just be like, oh, well, you're gonna have to, to deal with using one character. Feels like I'm playing Bejeweled now that I think about it. I feel like I know you. But you definitely look like the sickest one that I've encountered. Yeah, definitely looks like my favorite so far that we've seen. You guys know why, because she's a brawler. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, so these are just special events to where you can use waters only and stuff like that. You can get keys from water only, too. Do you guys think I could do this with just one unit? I don't think I could, to be honest. Maybe. Nah. Oh, wait, what? They just... Oh, they randomly put these guys in. Nah, you need a full party. What if I... Yeah, just make the room public. Just broadcast the room. See if people get in here. Does it show up here? It doesn't show up here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be any people joining us, to be honest. I was actually interested to see how comp goes. I don't know if it sent out like a invite or anything. Let's send out one more. If nobody joins then, then that just pretty much tells me that nobody really wants to help out. 
Or is probably not like hugely active. All right. Unfortunately, doesn't look like anybody's going to join. Whoa, wolves. All right, we're in chapter two. So we got to do a couple more missions or? Well, yeah, duh. I was thinking to myself, just like, am I supposed to do all missions on the first chapter just to get those rewards? But nah. That's not how it goes. Alright, here comes the boss. Who's this one? Oh, she actually looks pretty cool. I could definitely say some of these characters aren't, sir. Definitely interesting. I don't think I've seen, like, an approach to this art. Or if I have, it, that definitely has been a long time since I've seen it then. Actually, no. I feel like I've played a few PC games that are kind of like this art style kind of was it like 99 floor or something like that I think that was the name I can actually remember okay so now we got daily missions unlocked so yeah just normal stuff Thank you. Thank you for those. So we got hero stuff. We can actually enhance the character. So it's pretty much like any normal shark collecting game. If you want to get stronger, you put all these equipments in here and rank up. Yeah, I, I know that by default because I played so many games that evolve around it. And if you want to evolve your skills, just go in here and just level them up. Yeah, pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard um, game mechanics. Wait, hold on. That's another water unit for us. So we just need one more water unit, then we can go in and do that stage. Let me grab this. I have no idea what this is. Items. Box. We got some Lubu stones. How many stones is it to summon? Uh, okay, it's 40 for... Wait, whoa. Hold on. The UR. Oh, okay. Okay, I was like looking at those wrong. I thought these were the URs at first. But no, the URs take 80. The SRs take 40. Take them all. All right, how many more do we need? We need two more. Uh, let's take out um, you for now and see what this team can do. I mean, I like your archers and your like um, archers attacks and everything that you hit like pretty decent AOE, but I want to try out everybody else. Oh, wow. It literally just feels like I'm playing Bejeweled. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> There's another stone matching game that I want to go back and do a video on, but I, I'm still trying to remember it. like that all right so we need one more so I'm guessing until we get to here or we do okay no 
I think until we do that. Amaterasu. Yeah, she looks all right. Uh, let's do this. Have those come down. Now we just do this. Lady you. How dare you get rid of my stuff? So I'm guessing the boss can attack your um your pieces here. Seems pretty straightforward. I guess if you don't want like them doing that like really quickly, it'll probably be the best choice not to have the um, time speed on. All right, so we get this free um, SR from the next one. But let's go here and summon. See what we get. Oh, we got a basic. Wait, what? What the hell is the basics for? I have no idea what this is. Oh, those are pretty much just equipment items. <laughs> Everybody's just cheering for me. Oh, I got her. Okay, dope. All right, I don't mind that one. That one was purple, so we got another character. So we got all wins. We got a full win team we can roll with. But we didn't get a water team to roll with, unfortunately. Alright. If anything, I would start working on this character. But, yeah, guys, that's where we're going to stop. And I'm going to let you guys try out the game for an error. I mean, that's pretty much everything <laughs> from uh, the beginning point of view. So if you guys are willing to try out the game, if you guys find anything, like, really, really enjoyable about it, then I would recommend uh, trying out the game. Well, I, I recommend giving, like, any game a try, at least. But how do I feel about the game? Um, it's art is interesting. It's it's mechanics, not anything like super special, but kind of kind of like an underused mechanic because only Sudorika in this game uses it, I believe. At least I think so. Well, let's just say they use it in this way. These are the these are only two games that I know use it this way. But, yeah, it could actually be a game that I can probably take off. But from what the whole, you know, co-op thing tells me, is that probably you're going to have a hard time finding rooms. Doesn't seem like there's any room list on here, so I don't think anybody's really doing co-op. I could be wrong. Okay, so we got some more of that. So let's do one more summon before we end off. Officially. Let's just do these summons. Why not? I don't like his end of the world or anything. Oops. Okay, so from that point, it gets higher and higher. Okay. Alright, didn't we get keys? I was about to say, didn't we? I could have sworn we got keys out of that. Alright, we got more basic keys. So we got a fire character. God darn it. Why can't we ever get a water character? <laughs> so that was pretty much like a step up event. Okay, we got our last water character. Let me do one more run. Before we end off. And that's that run for um, the whole water team mission. Alright, so let's go back here. 
to water team. There you go. Don't know if we can beat it, but we're gonna see. Because I want those keys so we can do another summon. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's like we're doing a decent amount of damage. I want to save a few before the boss pops up. And let's tone that down. So we have plenty of time to do these before she tries to destroy some of our pieces. Yep, she almost destroyed it. Yeah, you're supposed to click the ones that match up, not just click the middle. There we go. <laughs> now give me my keys. Hoarding <laughs> all of my keys. Now that we have our keys, we can go over and summon once again. <laughs> Alright, we got a, more daggers and stuff. Another dagger. No characters? I was about to say. Oh, we got shards for that one. Alright, so yeah, it's pretty much like a gotcha shard collecting game. Y you've seen it like a lot of times. I just making sure I got all of them. But yeah, with that said, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? You got to lose. Cause what you got to lose?